Greetings, this is Ben Murray, founder and instructor at the SAS Academy, and welcome to the SAS in 60, where I teach the basics of a SAS metric or concept in 60 seconds. Today's topic is EBITDA. EBITDA stands for earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. So how do we calculate this? Let's take a look at our simplified P&L. On the top, we have total revenue, less our COGS equals our gross profit, less our operating expenses equals operating income. We have some interest expense, maybe we've taken on some debt, paid some taxes resulting in our net income. So to reach EBITDA, we take our net income and add back interest expense, add back our taxes, and add back our depreciation and amortization, resulting in an EBITDA of 60300 in this case. So EBITDA is a financial P&L metric and a widely used metric to measure company profitability. It's a great proxy for cash flow. And by adding back interest taxes depreciation, it puts companies on a common basis by removing any differences in tax or entity structure, capex policies, and financing. When you're in scale mode, EBITDA will be a focus, and it's a great metric in relation to the rule of 40 and operating leverage. To learn about this metric and other metrics, check out the sasacademy.com and the sascfo.com.